he's asked, he's gone for a walk off there without me asking. So I'll just put a hind quarter yield on there and the same again. I'll hold it this time till the feet stop. Now we've been getting pretty good with with not walking around the last couple of rides, but um, you know with these young horses especially, you're going to have your ups and downs and your and your give and takes, and you know they'll take a couple of steps forward and take a step back, and you'll have to keep going over things here and there. And the important thing is that you don't get emotional about it. Stay level. Don't get frustrated with them. Because the second you get frustrated. They feel it, and you start taking it out on them, and then that only that only makes things worse. You know, then they get they start getting scared about about your response to what they're feeling. You know, he's he's only doing this. He's not doing this to be naughty. He's doing it because he feels a bit anxious and he's just a bit unsure, and and he's a little bit of a hot blooded type. And hot-blooded types need to move their feet when they feel anxious. Thoroughbred's very much like that. And he's got a bit of thoroughbred in him. Um, your hotter-bred quarter horses are like that. Uh, your, your Arab types are very much like that. So when they need to move their feet, you need to let them move their feet, but teach them not to move their feet, if that makes sense. Encourage them to stand still when you want them to stand still, but don't expect them to stand still for too long. So he's been standing here for a bit now. I was just about to pick up and ask him to walk, but I was I was talking and explaining things, so I didn't, and uh, so I missed that chance there. So there we, what I'm going to do here now, so he's been standing there a few seconds, so before he goes to walk off by himself, I pick up those reins and give him a little squeeze. <laughs> 